Welcome back, my mer monkeys. It's SGB here, and we're playing Ravaged Outskirts today. Now, uh, just as a heads up, uh, Heroes Wise, I do have a level 4 and level 5 hero, because I've been playing with them a lot. Uh, Towers Wise, this is my loadout. And Upgrades Wise, this is what I've got. So feel free to copy me if you want to. But the entire point of this series is that I wanted to play with all of the free heroes and free items for the entirety of the game. So at this point, there should not be a difference. But later on, there most definitely will be. Anyways, I'm a big fan of the Ballistas. So we're going to go for a Ballista here. And we're going to go for a Ballista right over here. All right, two Ballistas. We're going to go up to fourth here with them as soon as we possibly can. And we are ready to go. So we got some Vultures up here. So we're going to use our uh, uh, two heroes to, to shoot up here. And you're going to notice that we don't really have that much defense right here. So we're going to have to use a, uh, uh, a block or tower. All right, a quick Paladin coming. Make sure nobody sneaks through my defense over here. You let Nauru shoot across the way as well. He does a pretty good job of that. And then the crossbow can do its job, right? Overall, not a difficult wave one, but you definitely have to make sure that you have towers that can reach across the way. So great range, it's technically slow attack, it doesn't bother me at all. We're going to go for a quick Nuru ability, which is maxed out, by the way. You can see the damage out of this thing. Oh my god, it feels good. All right, we're going to go for another uh, Ballista upgrade. And you don't want to overdo it on this side because you're going to have units coming out over here very quickly. We've got Tusk Brawlers already, so uh, uh, let's move everybody down to the bottom. Uh, Micro-wise, it's going to be a little more intensive than usual. When you're playing on Veteran, you actually have to move your heroes around, use your abilities right, make sure everything's actually going smooth over here. You could easily make a mistake that can cause you not necessarily to die or lose lives, but to move around in weird ways and stuff to make things a little more difficult for you. So we got, we're going to go for quick uh, reinforcements, and then again, we're going to go for that uh, 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 Ballista Outpost. So we got two abilities here. Just going to get rid of these guys. Go for uh, a nice Nuru ability again. And go to the next wave. So Nuru ability, next wave. That's how you do it, boys. That's exactly how you do it. Got Cutthroat Rats coming out, which I'll admit are a smidge of a problem. If you are at all worried about cutthroat rats, this is what you do. You build a barracks, you put them in the very, very back over here, or a little bit more, just like this. And then, um, um, if anybody gets over there, you got a hero to move around, you can build a tower to, like, defend them, you can make things happen, is all that it really matters, right? So at this point, believe it or not, usually these guys are like, oh crap, we gotta deal with them. Today, it's not quite the same thing. Um, here we go, we got a nice, uh, little section of cutthroat rats here. Let's knock them down. It's not quite the same thing because uh, we went full archer damage so far. No magic. Zilcho. But that's okay. If it works, it works, right? That's the way uh, That's the way we roll. So believe it or not, now that I have fourth years available, I'm going to buy two abilities for sure before I do anything else. I'm going to buy the Scrap Bomb. So we're going to go to the next wave, we're going to buy the Scrap Bomb. Um... Again, if guys get to the back back here, it's okay. They, they they don't have, like, a crazy amount of health. So, like, you can actually kill them with your regular guys. They don't also don't kill them, like, super duper quickly. But we do have a strong guy coming out. This is a Vanguard Bear. So we want to make sure that we have uh, uh, our heroes kind of working on him a little bit. And then when we need to, we use our abilities properly. So that's why I like the Scrap Bomb, by the way. That Scrap Bomb is delish. Slows people down. Hurts them a lot. Massive quantities of uh, slowdown and damage. I mean, why, why would you not build a Scrap Bomb? <laughs> <laughs> when you got that working for you. Of course, I like the regular uh, uh, attack as well, but that's really the key for me. All right, let's use a couple of reinforcements here to block these guys. Just a quick second. I'm going to go for a quick uh, Nauru ability in the back back here. All right, Scrap Bomb perfection. And we got one more bear coming in here. Luckily, we got a lot of attack damage here. I'm going to go for another Scrap Bomb. I know that's a pretty early-ish double scrap bomb play. Kind of weird because this guy does have armor. But I, 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 well, we're going we're to build the magic just a second here. It's not a big deal as long as Nauru is going to be attacking and doing things. So here's another tower that we should technically have to worry about. The Skunk Bombardier. If we went too much magic, this would be a problem. But luckily, we did not. We built no magic so far. So now it's magic time. Arcane Wizard right here. We're going to go max him out. We're going to go fourth here. Hardcore. Hardcore. So far, so good. We're in wave out of 5 out of 15 at this point, so we got 10 more waves to go. This is the first level, by the way, where you have uh, 15 total waves to take down. So they ramp you up fairly quickly, I guess. Nuru! Nuru! <laughs> Look at that. He, does, he just doesn't... I don't want to say he doesn't die, but like... <sighs> for the squishiness and damage that he should have, he doesn't die. Just, that's, that's, that's the fact. And when he does die, I mean, it's, it's a cooldown, 30 seconds. I think that's uh, one of the longer ones in the game, or, or, or kind of average 
across the board here. We're ready for the next wave. Let's just go for it. But, uh, it, you know, it doesn't bother me that much to have 30-second downtime. All right, like I said, I want to go big on the magic. We're going to have some big guys coming in here, more bear vanguards and stuff. They've got armor. we got to deal with it. So, uh, got to go half-sea on the magic here, all the way up to an arcane wizard. Don't want to be wasting all of our uh, killing power on these uh, ballistas by killing something that uh, uh, we can't hurt well. All right, we're going to move Naru down to the bottom here to do some extra damage. Don't forget, I like his regular attack more than anything. So if you can, put some reinforcements in the front, let him do his regular attack. You'll, you'll start to melt the guys pretty easily. we got a nice grouping of Vipers up here. Let's just Naru them. And then we are going to have some fairly strong units coming in here fairly soon, so we're going to have to get some more magic. All right, so this is unfortunate, but we cannot use any artillery on this map. None. It's not going to work. Do not do it. You will be a very unhappy man or woman or child or whatever if you do that. So we're going to go for some quick... Uh, let's go for the Naru ability over here. Nice scrap bomb play. Vulture's getting taken down. We got rats up the wazoo. There's a bear trying to sneak through. We'll move Naru to block him. And like I said, there are going to be guys that sneak through. So what do you do? You kill them. Get an archer tower, bro. Get these guys up to the smidge. Get them in range of your archer tower. And let them die. Back here, they won't do their invisibility thing. Um, I don't know exactly where it is. Like I think if they were like, over here, they probably would turn invisible. But over here, they don't. We'll get some hyenas trying to sneak through as well, though. Um, these guys do have uh, armor. That's probably why they're, they're sticking through my scrap bomb right now. Plus, I got a lot of flying units in here. So we definitely want to get that magic pretty soon. We're going to move Naru over here as well. Help ourselves out. Block these guys in real nice. Like, I'm going to go for a Naru ability and an air. Yeah, well, and then they go. And then blah, 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 and they go. I was going to use the arrows on these guys, but it was it was too far away. Oh, here we go. So if we screwed up and we did not build any magic over here, we'd be done zoned at this point. Game over. GG, bro. But right now, it's not a big deal. Get Vesper over there, bro. Get Vesper over there. Vesper's going to be our blocker. All right, Vesper. Get to the blocking. We're going to go for some arrows over here as well. Um, and we're going to buy that Arcane Wizard so we can actually maximize our damage on the Bear Woodcutter. He's also a Bear Vanguard, but he's got more health than a Bear Vanguard. And he wakes up on wave 8 no matter what. That's not... Like, he had to do something to make it happen. That's just, like, the way it is. Uh, All right, so far, so good. I'm going to max this guy out because there is a few too many guys to get through the back of my defense for my liking. And if I'm going to use Archer Towers for anything, they're definitely a cleanup tower in the back. Fourth tier, no abilities. That's the way I like to use them. Um, I got a nice easy wave here. We got some flying units coming out, so we're just going to go to the next wave. We're not going to use our abilities this time. So I think I gotta max out uh, this this magic as well because there's just too many guys coming in here that uh, 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 have a little bit of armor. So we're gonna go for a quick Naru ability, kind of in the middle of everything. Get a nice uh, mage upgrade, and we're thinking Arcane Wizard. Go big or go home. All right, we got some birds over here. Birds from another feather. So we're gonna have to uh, arrows them and bring some people back to help defend because that's just uh, that's too big for me. Let's go for the mage tower over here. I'm going to bring Naru over there as well. Wow, there's a lot of flying units, man. Holy crap. Move our barracks units over. Too many guys for this bear vanguard. I wasn't paying attention. You're still not right. My mistake. My mistake. Okay, the bear will die, but it took a lot of work to make that happen. I'll admit it. I'll be the first person to admit it. I'm going to use Vesper and Naru to clean up all these birds before anything uh, terrible happens here. Everybody for the next wave. Um, screw it. I'm gonna arrows all this. It's just a good. It's a good arrows. We get a lot of extra money for it. Let's buy uh, more ma magic. In fact, I think this is probably a good spot for magic. This one, it's unfortunate. It doesn't really quite reach unless you get it up to fourth here. Even though it can be okay. All right. Um, I'll be the first person to admit that my hero gameplay has been a little off today. Just a smidge. Nothing terrible. Nothing great. Get a nice Naru ability ready to go here. I'll wait. I'll wait. They're just weak units. Not a big deal. Hyenas, on the other hand, they're a little bit more of a problem. They can be, for sure. All right, we got a good Naru ability right here. Look at this. All the vipers, all the pigs. This guy's getting hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turtle Shaman's just tanking it? Oh, what is that? He was totally in the roots. Not that it really matters much, but this kind of annoying more than anything. All right, another Arcane Wizard. A double dipping over here. 
Um, one thing that they, they did nicely uh, to us on this map is they definitely gave you a lot of room to uh, build magic on the left and go mostly attack damage on the right. Okay. But because there's three slots that they come out, one, two, and three, this is the kind of mixed one. So this is actually the more problematic one and is one of the shortest um, uh, things we have to deal with. So uh, that means you are going to have to build some people in the back, and that's what this archer is for. So move these guys back just a little bit closer to our, our, our arch tower so we're in range. And uh, it's Arcane Wizard time again. We're going to go for a triple dip in, obviously. Okay, our strategies really come together now. We had a couple uh, tough waves, I'll admit it. Didn't watch the Bear Vanguards properly. They just were like, screw you, Chris. We're going to try to sneak through. But, uh, you know, we we resolved it. We made it work. All right, there it is. Three Arcane Wizards. We got an Angry Bear, though. Angry Bear equals not a problem. All right, I think I'm going to go for another Arcane Wizard over here because we're going to have to deal with some Rhinos pretty soon. I kind of forgot about the Rhinos, by the way. Uh, I've never had any issues with the Rhinos actually doing anything problematic to me because I don't build a lot of barracks units in the front. So, um... Really, that's the only time you have to worry about them if you have a bunch of barracks you're just trying to block and they just whoosh, run right through your defense. And it can happen, by the way. Specifically, if you do, like, I think if you, even if you use a hero to block, it can cause chaos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually kill these guys uh, pretty quickly with an Aru ability. So I don't have to deal with birds trying to sneak through on my uh, backside over here. At this point, it's time. We're going to go for a 1, 2, and 3 scrap bombs. And I think I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side, too. I go triple dipping. I'll go for the arrows as well, because why not? Take care of some hyenas. And I'm going to go for a double dose of scrap bombs here. I probably will get the red hot nails too, or the final nail, but at the moment it's not a big deal. Alright, we're ready. Raising Rhino! Here he comes! And here he hopefully goes. <laughs> Alright, so I I'm curious now, if I block him with reinforcements, will he Raising Rhino through me? No, he does not. Curious. How about a hero? I'm in range of an arcane wizard now. Um, let's try to block with a hero and see what happens. Again, out of curiosity. Still not running forward. Where's the raising going on? Okay. Let's try again. There we go. So it's got to be like somewhere in the middle of the map that you try to block him. And then he's going to run right through your defense. Luckily for us, he's like in 90% dead, so the arrows are going to kill him over here. But that's just interesting to note. But I usually kill them in such a uh, 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 close part of the, to the front of the map that it ends up not even happening to me very often at all. So, you live and you learn. This guy's got no armor or defense or anything, but his attack is freaking awesome, dude. That's a beef, beefy attack there. All right, there it is. We got the triple scrap bombs on both sides. Grouped guys are just done at this point. Still no artillery, though, unfortunately. Can't really use it effectively. And uh, uh, we get a good mix of towers kind of across the board here. Mostly crossbows, mostly arcane wizards. And then um, a little bit of cleanup. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for vinyl nails on uh, uh, both of these guys. I feel like, it, you know, we got the new tower. Why don't we use it off? Use it up. Show it off. Combine that uh, all together into words that make sense, Chris. Oh, look at this crap. Oh, my God. So, I, I, I'm more just curious to see if we can get another good scrap bomb to happen. I want to see a scrap bomb on... Oh, there we go. Another big one. This is why I love scrap bombs, especially when you get two of them together. Um, it's freaking ridiculous, dude. I mean, th this is so many guys. Like, I, this is where I should use my ability, obviously. Um, anyways, let's final nail. We'll triple it. Um, get a couple of rats in the backpack here, but this is the final wave. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, bro. Alright, so Aina's right from the get-go. Actually, a bit of a problem. I'll admit it. Um, I'll triple this up as well. Hyenas are not fun to deal with. They're, they're a weird unit, because they're actually pretty quick. Alright, there we go. Less little Nauru ability. This time around, I'm not afraid of this guy. We're not even going to block him. Just let him slowly die over time. We've got two of them, though. So, uh... I think he'll die, though. And then we do have the ability to get a disintegrate, though, if we want to. In fact, for the second guy, if we get enough money from killing these guys, we'll get it. Watch this. Watch this. Check this out. Check this out. Boom. Disintegrate. Take him down. Oh! <laughs> it's beautiful to see. All right, so I'm for a quick arrows on the uh, right side here just to clean up all these freaking guys. 
and then uh, I can focus a little bit more on the uh, left over here. So, I don't want this Rhino to jump forward, though, but I'm just curious, can I block him? I can. Still don't know the rules on this Rhino blocking. When or why it happens. But we get our last true damage shot off. We got some Disintegrates here if we want them. And we do it. No uh, cleanup at all, baby. Woo! Um, not too shabby. Not a bad strat. We had a couple uh, issues on, wait, we have what, like six and seven? But uh, we make that happen pretty easily. We fix our issues. We get three upgrade points. We get a new hero, Torres, which I believe is the last non-paid hero. Uh, and then we get the Arborean Emissary, which is not a paid tower, by the way, but it is a fairly useless tower. I will not be using it in any of my games. I might check it out later on just to see if I can make it work somehow. But I, I don't like it personally, so I'm going to stay away from it. And this is what it's all about. Golden time. Yes! So that's cool. Um, this is going to give us extra gold every time we set out the wave early, which I do 99% of the time. Every single wave, I set it out early, and I, I get the extra gold, and I turn it into really nice defense. That's my goal. It's my plan. Um, Any which way, if you guys enjoyed, press the like button, subscribe, and have a super duper delicious day.